as I said last week, we're going to talk about cars this week and how you can buy vehicles, where you can find them. Uh, there's several different options. One is called Encuentra 24. It's a website. It's a classified for, uh, for this area. You can find just about anything you want on there, but, but there, there's a, quite a selection of cars from both dealerships and private owners. Then you've got Facebook Marketplace, which I have found uh, very resourceful, looking for different things, either furniture or uh, cars or car parts even. Uh, you just type in your search parameters and you're off to the races. Now, the problem with it, if you're still in the States or, or, or pl still planning on traveling, you start looking at cars like I did. I, I started looking about six or seven weeks before I left Colombia, just to try to get some pricing ideas because different countries have different pricing for the same cars for the same years. It has a lot to do with your import duty tax, which Panama is pretty good. It doesn't have the highest uh, import duty tax like, like Costa Rica and Colombia. So I started looking a few weeks before and I, Saw a couple of cars that I liked, so I, I would write the, the owner, and you can, you can contact them usually through WhatsApp. And sometimes they would get back to you, sometimes they wouldn't. Uh, if they found out you weren't in the country, they didn't really want to talk to you unless you showed up with cash in hand. So. But I did find a car I liked, and I talked to the owner online, and I said, yeah, I'll be in Panama on a certain day. And we met. And um, he had me meet him at a government building where he came out of, and he said he worked in there. He had a nice pressed white shirt on and khaki pants. And we took a test drive in the car, and the car was everything it was, it was said to be on the, on the website. So I made him an offer, and he took it. And we made an appointment to, to meet at the Municipal, uh, where you do all the, all the transfer documents. There's a, there's a process for that, we'll, we'll, we'll post that at, at a future date. But we met there, and this time he was with his wife, and his wife was saying, oh no, we need to go put the money in the bank and then come back and do the transfer. I said, no, that's not the way it works. You, I sign the documents, I hand you the money. In, in the building where we do the transfer. Oh, no, 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 you have to come to our bank with us, that's the way it's done here. I said, no, it's not. So. Anyway, we decided to park company, and I went on my way. So what I ended up finding a finding a car on, on an actual used car lot here called Technic Car. I'll put I'll put the link right there. Uh, they they treated me fairly. They had the car that I wanted at the price price point that I that I wanted to pay. Uh, it wasn't the perfect deal. Uh, you know, time will tell what kind of car it is, but car runs well. It's a 2013 uh, Suzuki Solerio and it's uh, got 130,000 miles on it. I wanted something small because and gas gas friendly because I was going to do a lot of touring through the country and especially with tie a surfboard on top and find some waves. Uh, I wish I wish that I would have gone with a bigger car. I've always had bigger cars down here, SUVs because there are potholes in the city and when you hit a pothole in a small car, man, you know it. <laughs> so, uh, I, prob I probably made a wrong decision there, but it, then again, it wasn't a super expensive car. I can probably get my money back out of it. So, I wanna take you down some of the roads, show you the, the driving conditions here. Right now, post pandemic, uh, Pan Panama City hasn't quite come back yet, so the traffic is not as bad as it usually is. And I've been here when the traffic is really bad, and it is bad. Um, the roads outside of the city are pretty good. Once you get off of the off of the main pista, the main highway, uh, you can you know you can find some rough roads. But but as far as the main main routes through Panama, they're they're all pretty good. I, I drove all the way to the Costa Rican border and back a few weeks ago and other than a few little places it was it was really good they've got all kinds of things for sale on here cars 
used cars, new cars, motorcycles. So click over here. And you can put in your search criteria here, how much you want to pay, years you're looking for. I was looking for something around there. Um, about 2005 to 2013. And then it'll, it'll just automatically switch over. You can contact a lot of people through WhatsApp, even from the States or Canada or anywhere in the world. Sometimes they'll call you back or sometimes they'll text you back. Anyway, that's one resource. And you got face, Facebook Marketplace. Again, they have the criteria you'd be looking for here, how much you want to pay. I hadn't had that much luck with this. I had a few cars that I looked at. There's a lot of, I'm, I may have found a dealership that I bought my car from on here, actually. This is your, your typical trying to get out of the price smart parking lot. I have never seen it not like this. It's just the way they have the corner they have it on, the two busiest streets in all of Panama, Panama City. Driving in Panama City could be adventurous, but of all the Latin American cities that I have driven in, they seem to be the most polite here and they actually know how to drive. So there's a lot of traffic but it seems to be fairly orderly and as long as you're not in a hurry you can get anywhere you want pretty easily. In Medellin, where I'll be tomorrow, you would have 15 motorbikes between me and, the, and this little car in front of me. There's a lot of motorbike traffic here but not anywhere near what Colombia is. I think they're a little stricter on their licensing and their training for riding those things. Via España. This is the main thoroughfare going from, I believe it's south to north, or it could be east to west. I think it's east to west. But anyway, everything flows this way, and everything everything goes off of this street. And on the other side, coming the other way, it's Balboa. And also, also uh, there's a there's another main. Fuck you. Right hand side here you'll see these these coned off lanes for taxis that stop in front of the metro. You want to be careful not to get caught in those. And you always just have to be on the lookout for somebody pulling in front of you here. It just seems to be a hazard of driving. You can't take it personally with the horns. It doesn't matter whether you're you're in their way or not, they just lay on the horns for no reason. It seems to be how they, they seem to know the gas, the brake, and the horn. Turn signals, eh, not so much. Another thing they have here in Panama, which I like, is the, the traffic signals are, are on the other side of the intersection, not right directly under you can't see them like they are in most most Latin American countries so a good thing of course you have narrow streets parking on both sides of the street so you have to be careful but most of this is one way uh, Panama City in between the, the major thoroughfares most of them have one way every other block you're going the other way occasionally you have a two-way street but not that many Back in my neighborhood of Bella Vista, passing the, we're only a couple hundred yards from my house, or my apartment building. This is the big synagogue in the area right here. 